Our hair is 95% keratin. A keratin is a type of protein, thus our hair is mostly protein. But keep in mind, healthy hair requires a balance of moisture and protein. So not only should we be doing deep conditioning treatments, but we should also be including protein treatment. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the TGIN Miracle Repair line and talk more about the importance of protein treatments, signs that you may need one, frequency and the possible dangers of them. Let's get into it. We've established that our hair is mostly keratin. Over time, depending on styling, our hair can lose keratin. The job of the protein treatment is to fill in those gaps. Protein treatments can improve the health and appearance of hair. They also help to reduce breakage and split ends, increasing strength and elasticity, which as a result makes it look shinier and softer. Here are some common signs that your hair may need a protein treatment. One, low elasticity, especially for our coily girls. Noticing that the hair don't bounce back like it used to? Yeah definitely need a protein treatment. Flat or limp hair. Three, high porosity, which makes total sense because the hair is very porous. The shaft is lifted so it loses moisture and protein have been lost. Breakage, when you comb through the hair and see little hair dropping, but also not to be confused with needing a trim, but also you might need both. Mushy hair. Six, a lack of resilience. Like when you apply heat and the curls don't come back as much, think a bond builder for this one, which is also a type of protein. Seven, if your hair has been recently colored, definitely think about adding a protein treatment. It's recommended to do a protein treatment four to six weeks and I'm way overdue. My last treatment was October 23 for my last silk press and with these braids I've been rocking since January. I'm sure I have some gaps in my cuticle. I was going to do Afogee two-step but the formula and texture look different so I was on a hunt for a different protein treatment. Now if you've been rocking with me you know I love a good TGIM product and I saw that they had a whole collection geared to strengthening your hair so yeah we're going to be try the TGIN Miracle Repair line, the shampoo, protein treatment, and the deep conditioner. Starting with the shampoo on the website, it says that it's formulated with black castor oil and biotin. It claims to gently cleanse the hair without harsh sulfates. Black castor oil smooths the cuticle surface and helps promote healthy hair growth, while biotin nourishes and promotes length retention. I'll be doing a double cleanse because my scalp and hair is coated in oil. At first, I shampooed my scalp only, being very thorough, rinsed it out, and then... I shampooed my scalp and the rest of my strands. Now this is definitely a clarifying shampoo. How do I know the shampoo is clear? But you know what? It didn't leave my hair feeling stripped. I just took my braids out after four months of having that protective style. Although I wash my hair weekly, I it's been a while since I washed my hair without the braid. It's always been easier for me to wash my hair in twists to prevent extra tangling. Now, although I didn't fully detangle my hair beforehand, and it was very evident when I went to go style my hair later and had a time detangling, but this method helps to prevent more tangles. As a matter of fact, when you do a protein treatment, it's best to thoroughly detangle the hair before just to make sure that it's properly coated. And because protein treatments can leave the hair feeling very tough, it's definitely best to detangle beforehand, which brings me to my next step, the protein treatment. According to the website, the Miracle Repair CPR protein treatment works deep to restore protein and hair, strengthening from the inside out. This gentle formula moisturizes the scalp and smooths the hair cuticle, promotes hair growth and healthy scalp. Like the shampoo, it has amazing ingredients including black castor oil, biotin, avocado oil, jojoba oil, coconut oil, which I didn't know. Somehow I missed that one. And I'm not too fond of coconut oil, but it also has raw black honey, burdock root extract, and hydrolyzed wheat protein. Hydrolyzed wheat protein is actually the star of the show. It has small peptides and amino acids that diffuse into the hair's cortex. That's what's filling in those gaps, repairing the hair. The direction says after shampooing to apply it to the hair. Like how I did it with the shampoo, I applied it to each twist. I fingered it through, making sure that each strand was thoroughly and properly coated. It didn't feel like regular protein treatments. Applying it felt like I was going to, like it was going to be moisturizing, like it had slipped. It felt like I was applying a deep conditioner. Now I didn't apply it to my scalp because it didn't say to apply from scalp to ends. So I found it interesting that the benefit said that it would moisturize the scalp. Like how if it's not going on the scalp, you know? Anyway, for maximum penetration, it says to cover the hair with a warm towel or plastic cap for three minutes and then rinse it out. For extra deep conditioning, follow with the Miracle Repair Deep Hydrating Hair Mask. See, I ain't do none of that. I was a little cold, so I left it on for a little longer, I think like 10 minutes, and then I rinsed it out then to style. Rinsing it out, I saw that my hair was defined and it felt strong, but not hard. It 
felt moisturized. Hindsight, I really should have detangled my hair before washing because now that protein has entered the chat, my hair is super strong. Not as moisturized as I thought, less malleable, if that makes sense. Like I can see now why it was advised to use deep conditioning treatment afterward. It's actually recommended to do a conditioning treatment after a protein treatment anyway. Some parts of my hair were super defined, but looking at my twists, they were not so chunky. Per my fourth week in my hair video, I expressed that I have some heat damage and I was not fully aware of it until I took my plaits down and was able to fully examine my hair. I truly noticed the difference between my new growth and the parts of the hair that was affected by heat. No wonder people think that I'm like type three. It's because of the damage. It's especially evident in the front. The roots are super thick and the rest of the strands are slightly curly, a little wave to it. So I'm on a journey to strengthen and have my curls bounce back. When it comes to heat damage, it's a bond issue. So I'll need more of a bond builder, which is a smaller type of protein for the inner part of the hair strand. We'll discuss that in a different video. I'm gonna try bond builders soon to see what works for me. Overall, I'm pleased with the protein treatment. Next time, I'll follow the directions and use the hydrating mask after. A few days later, my hair didn't feel as moisturized as it normally does, so I washed it to use a deep hydrating mask. In order for treatments to work to its full potential, the hair has to be removed of any products to allow for deeper penetration. I shampooed again, but only once this time. Now before I shampooed, I learned my lesson, I detangled my hair. I may have overcompensated for the previous mistake of not detangling because it was only a few days later. It was still pretty detangled, so I suppose I was just removing the shed hair. After I shampooed, I used the Miracle Repair Protein again. Y'all, what was going through my mind at the time was beyond me. There was no reason for me to use that protein treatment again. This is another time that I'm overcompensating for a previous mistake. Now, I suppose I wanted to see the results of following the directions of using the protein treatment and then following up with the hydrating mask, but since I already used the protein treatment, there was no reason for me to use it again. In fact, doing protein treatments too often can intensify the damage or the issue. For instance, if the hair is brittle, it can cause it to be more brittle. It can cause more knots, more tangles, more breakage and snapping because the hair becomes too strong. I lucked out this time, but don't be like me. Stick to a schedule of four to six weeks or whatever plan a professional sets for you. But I must say using the protein treatment a second time seemed to apply better. And I think it's because my hair was thoroughly detained beforehand. After letting it sit for three minutes, I rinsed it out, applied the deep hydrating mask. Now, according to the website, it is intensely hydrating. The Miracle Repair Deep Hydrating Hair Mask restores life to dry, damaged, or colored treated hair with healing biotin and moisturizes with black castor oil, smoothing and softening the hair. It improves shine and manageability, locks in moisture, and repairs damage while reducing shedding and breakage. When I applied the mask, it was really thick. Like, I I like thick mask because it makes me feel like my hair is actually coated. After smoothing it through the hair, I twisted it back up, covered with a shower cap, and left it on for a good minute. Now, I'll admit, I prefer the Honey Miracle Mask by TGIN over this one, and it's probably because of the ingredients. The Miracle Repair Hydrating Mask has coconut oil in it, and my hair doesn't typically react well to it. Honey and olive oil is the second and third ingredients in the Honey Miracle Mask, and my hair loves it. This shows the importance of reading the ingredient list. Some ingredients may work for some, but it may not work well for others. So all in all, I think the mask is okay. It did leave my hair feeling soft and hydrated once I rinsed it out, but I know it could be better because I've actually had better by them. I've just experienced better for my hair. After I rinsed the hydrating mask out my hair, I went on and applied and sprayed some light leave-in conditioner. It is of the liquid form. This helps the hair to dry a little faster, especially for the way that I'm going to be drying my hair. Um, after I sprayed my hair and put it back in the twist, I went on ahead and wrapped it in something to soak up the excess water. It's also best to do a protein treatment to better prep for a protective style. It's been a few months since my last good trim. I would clip like a few split ends here and there and in between like doing my plaits, but now that my hair is out, this is a good time to really do a cut. At first, I stretched my hair using the Rev Air on the cool setting and on the highest sucking status. This is a no heat year and the Rev Air is perfect for drying and stretching my hair without the heat. Normally, I would have to take like smaller sections and hold the hair to dry with the cool air using my blow dryer, but the Rev Air sucks the hair dry without leaving it dry so it's still moisturized. This is by far one of the best investments 
adjustments I've made for my hair. I have a code and link in description if you're interested in trying it. After drying it, I did the search and destroy method on each section. Then went back and cut off like half an inch to one to one and a half inches in some areas. I was planning on putting the plaits back in, but I was pressed for time, so I opted for medium twist. Y'all, do you see, I mean, you guys can really see the texture and volume difference in the twist. Hopefully this time next year, my hair will have grown thicker and the texture will have come back. Like I said, I'll be doing bond treatments from now on to help with my damage, so stay tuned for that. All I can say is that my hair is extremely soft and it feels healthy. The TGIN Miracle Repair line is good with a T at the end. I definitely recommend this for folks dealing with minor damage. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you like contents like this, definitely be sure to turn your notifications notification on so you're notified when I do bond reviews.